Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Fryman, the Chief of Hepatobiliary and Pancreatic Surgery at St. Joseph Medical Center here in Towson, Maryland. Today's tutorial is on the anatomy of the pancreas and how it relates to pancreatic surgery. I hope you enjoy. The pancreas is an organ in the upper abdomen which has a shape that goes across the upper abdomen like this and this is to the the, the right of the uh, human body and this is to the left um, so the division of the pancreas is and the head, the neck, the body, and the tail. The spleen is present right here. So these are the divisions of the pancreas. And when we have tumors uh, or malignancies uh, in different parts, this allows uh, us to communicate with each other as to the location of, of these uh, tumors or malignancies. The um, pancreas has a large duct that looks something like this. And this, this duct is called the, uh, the worsen, worsen duct. The common bile duct has an intrapancreatic portion, which joins to form a common channel. And this, this portion is the common channel. And then there is a, a valve here called the ampulla of vater, which is a muscular valve that controls secretions into the, um, the duodenum, or the first portion of the small intestine. This is the duodenum. This is the amp ampulla of fodder. And the pancreas is made up of multiple small glands called acinar glands, which all essentially drain digestive juices into the main duct. Um, the pancreas also has islet cells scattered throughout which help regulate our um, glucose metabolism by secreting both insulin and glucagon. And I'm not going to get into the physiology. Um, this is more an anatomical uh, demonstration. The majority of the blood supply comes from the celiac axis and um, the splenic artery divides and travels along the superior border of the pancreas and going to the spleen. Um, there are branches of the splenic artery that supply most of the uh, neck. The hepatic artery courses this way and gives off a branch called the gastroduodenal artery. And it's the gastroduodenal artery that supplies portions of the head of the pancreas. And then down below is the superior mes mesenteric artery, which travels under the neck of the pancreas, which gives off the inferior pancreatic oduodenal arteries, which form arcades with the gastroduodenal artery supplying the head. So the head has this dual blood supply between the gastroduodenal artery and the inferior pancreatic duodenal arteries. This is the superior mesenteric artery. And then this is the celiac artery. Both of these are, both the celiac and the superior mesenteric artery are branches of the abdominal aorta. The splenic vein travels under the pancreas and provides uh, drainage. And the drainage is into 
the portal system. And this, this, this is happening up, up here. I'm just drawing it because I'm out of space. So this is the splenic vein, the superior mesenteric vein. They join together to form the portal vein. Um, this becomes important when doing pancreatic surgery where cancers or tumors involve the mesenteric uh, venous structure and, and reconstruction is, is necessary. The majority of pancreatic resections are usually divided into head resections, which involves this portion, and body and tail resections, which involves these resections. Uh, tumors in the neck can either have Whipple procedures or head resections extended to the neck or left-sided res resections extended towards the head. In subsequent videos I will discuss um, the more intricacies of pancreatic surgery but this hopefully provides a uh, baseline to understand the pancreatic anatomy. I thank you for listening.